Hey everybody, everyone, whatever. Welcome back to my channel. It's Everything Cure here, and I know I'm looking a hot mess right now. I just washed my hair yesterday, so, and honestly, I've been in the bed all day. So, I came back to you guys to give y'all a five and six week um, pregnancy update. <coughs> y'all, excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather today. But anyways, first things first, I'm going to start with my symptoms and then I'm going to show you guys my ultrasound from my first um, appointment. So, <coughs> um, when I went to get my ultrasound, I was five weeks and... I want to say four days pregnant so my symptoms then was like nausea um, feeling hot a lot also feeling cold a lot even though it wasn't that cold um, cramping I've been cramping a lot cramping a lot on the left side and very emotional like I cried because I wanted something sweet and salty and I couldn't think of what I wanted I don't know I just I don't know I've just been very emotional lately um, I'm currently six weeks and four days. I'm sorry, I had a big mother. And um, I've been having a lot of vivid dreams. Um, honestly, that started around five weeks. Um, I've been nauseous like crazy. Like, I've been having morning sickness. Uh, honestly, I'm calling it all day sickness because I'll be feeling like I'm gonna throw up all day, and all night. <laughs> um, I will, I, if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes here. Um, Honestly, like some days I'll feel really, really good and I'll be like, you know, have an appetite. I'll, I'm sorry. Like I'm saying like some days I'll be really, really, really hungry, like extremely hungry and like I can eat anything. And then the next few days I don't want to eat anything. Like the things that was good to me yesterday is not good to me today. Like, uh -uh. I just not have, I just, today I have don't have an appetite and Yesterday, I didn't have an appetite, but the day before that, I was eating like crazy. Okay, some days, I have no symptoms at all, like no sore boobs, no nausea, no cramping, no anything. Then the next day, it's like all hell breaks loose. So, like today, I'm not feeling good today at all, y'all. At all. I'm mainly nauseous, um, and I hate being nauseous. Also having breathing pro breathing issues a little bit on the left side, but um, I feel congested. But I can say it's because I really have been eating like a lot of junk food lately. Like I know I shouldn't, I know I should be eating healthy, but like I've been eating a lot of things, like even things I shouldn't eat. Like I usually avoid milk and dairy products, but I had some nachos and cheese the other day, and it wasn't vegan cheese, so yeah. And, Oh, I've been very irritable lately. Like, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be asked to do anything. I don't want to talk on the phone. I don't want to do anything, you guys. And I'm trying to, like, get out of that because I feel kind of bad and just be more loving. And also, I'm trying to get out the bed. Like, I've been in the bed. Like, this might sound bad, but I've been in the bed for, like, two days. Like, not, like I'll get out the bed, give me something to eat, get back in the bed. Get out of bed, use the restroom, get back in the bed. You know, get out of bed, take a shower, get back in the bed. Like, I have been in bed for two days. So, <sighs> excuse me. Um, yeah, still don't have a baby bump. Honestly, I'm not even expecting to show until, like, maybe, um, I'd say about 10 weeks. I think, based on the videos I'll be watching and people that's, like, my size. But every pregnancy is different. Um... So anyways, I have gained weight. I was 102 pounds before when I went to the um, my first gynecologist appointment. I'm 100 and, um, excuse me, I'm 106. So yeah. So guys, now the moment that you all might have been waiting for. Y'all probably don't even care, but I'm gonna show you. This is my little baby. Well, this, yeah, like I said, this was five weeks, four days. So this is how he or she looked. Um, the doctor said everything looked nice. I looked fine and healthy. Everything was in the right place. Um, I have a cyst on my right ovary. She said that's normal. That's what's um, nourishing the baby at that time, um, providing progesterone and all that. My progesterone levels and my HCG levels were all fine. Um, 
this pregnancy is going to be high risk of course because um my breathing issues and like my heart but um yeah speaking of my heart my heart's been doing really really well you guys ever since i found out i was pregnant i don't know if my body just knows and it's getting it together or whatever or like my prayers have been answered but like only yesterday was the day my heart rate went to like 145 but every other day it's been like in the low hundreds so i'm very grateful for that <laughs> um my next ultrasound is um february 1st and that will be um a day before i hit eight weeks hold on i think i have to look at my calendar again either it's the day before i hit yeah i think it is it's the day before i hit eight weeks so i'm excited about that um so yeah today i am six weeks and four days so um it's monday so come thursday i'll be seven weeks so i still haven't told anybody um at all because um I kind of like I had a miscarriage before and I just want to just keep it to myself for a little longer until like until I know everything's fine and everything's like until I get out of the first trimester plus my family and even myself I'm worried about my health and my body and just because pregnancy takes out a lot out of anyone especially any person like any normal person even those without disability so the, the fact that I'm disabled and I have a serious lung condition and things i'm just um <coughs> i'm worried whatever i have been worried also because i've been taking steroids the beginning of my pregnancy before i found out honestly it was like the same week i found out i was on steroids so and i might have to take steroids soon because i caught like a i don't know if it's a cold but i have a runny nose and my lungs became congested so um I'm trying to avoid taking steroids and my doctor said as long as i stay around under 20 milligrams i should be fine so yeah guys i will be um keeping you guys updated um i might just do like every three weeks to be honest because like like not many symptoms have changed for real besides once i hit the six week mark i'm telling you that's when i got the most nauseous like awful like i cannot I don't feel like doing anything i just do not feel good so yeah guys so once i hit when i get to my next appointment which is february 1st i'll have another ultrasound to show you guys um i really can't wait till 13 weeks i only say 14 weeks because that's what i'm gonna tell everyone like i'm so excited to tell my mom my sister my siblings basically the whole family i'm just excited so yeah guys um i, I honestly might just tell my intermediate family first and then the word spreads, you know, in the family. So my boyfriend can't wait to tell his family too. Um, <coughs> oh. Yeah, guys, this is, I don't even know why I chose to do the video today because I'm out of breath, but um, yeah, we're gonna see where this journey takes us. And like I said, I'm a firm believer that God does, won't give you anything that you can't um, handle so <clears throat> yes i'm worried as i should be um but i'm excited and i'm just hoping this is an easy stress free healthy um pregnancy i'm praying for both me and the baby every single day um that it grows healthy that there's no physical abnormalities no health issues um i just don't want my baby to suffer like you know any type of health um issue like you know you just want the best for your child especially when you dealt your whole life with an illness so i just don't want that for my child so yeah i'm just rambling on at this point but that is like the update now um that's that's really yeah I can, i'm trying to think if there's anything i'm missing um but yeah this week nauseousness is hitting like crazy and i'm holding on the time you know i'm saying i've just, I just been going through it you guys but um it could be worse so i'm thankful um but yeah guys i'm gonna keep you guys updated please give me your prayers and i'm excited and i, I, mean, I already showed you the picture but i keep looking at it so i just can't wait to see it on the eight week um ultrasound and hear its heartbeat for the first time so 
yeah guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next update